a woman who accuses Donald Trump of raping her more than 23 years ago in a New York department store sued the U.S. president on Monday over statements he made in June denying that the attack occurred and criticizing her for coming forward. E. Jean Carroll, a longtime Elle magazine advice columnist, said in a complaint filed in a New York state court in Manhattan that Trump lied about attacking her, and smeared her integrity, honesty, and dignity by concocting a swarm of related lies to explain why she would make the incident up. Carol's account of the alleged rape at Bergdorf Goodman on Fifth Avenue, which she said occurred between the autumn of 1995 and spring of 1996, had been published in New York Magazine in June, excerpted from her memoir released the following month. The lawsuit is frivolous and the story is a fraud just like the author, White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham said in a statement. The story she used to try and sell her trash book never happened, period. Carol's lawsuit followed statements that Trump made after her account was published, including that he did not rape Carol and had never met her, and that she was totally lying as part of an effort to boost book sales. He'll say it with great respect, number one. She's not my type. Number two, it never happened. It never happened, okay? He told the Hill newspaper in Washington. In her complaint, Carol said the attack lasted two to three minutes, before she ran out of the dressing room and onto Fifth Avenue. Carol said in the lawsuit she soon confided in two friends, author Lisa Bernbuck and former news anchor Carol Martin, about the alleged attack but did not report Trump to authorities because she feared retribution. She said she went public after accounts in 2017 of alleged sexual misconduct by Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein, which he has denied, spawned the Me Too movement. No person in this country should be above the law including the president, Carol said in a statement provided by her lawyers. Trump has denied accusations by more than one dozen women who said he made unwanted sexual advances against them years before he entered politics. He also faces a defamation lawsuit by Summer Zervos, a former contestant on his television show The Apprentice, who claimed he kissed her against her will in 2007 in New York and later groped her at a Beverly Hills hotel.